Now, when we come to the medial side of the thigh, the muscle on the most cranial part is the sartorius. And the sartorius, it has two parts. It has a cranial part that insert to the patella. This, this one here, I transect the insertion here. It will insert on the patella here. And a caudal part that will insert on the medial side of the proximal tibial bone. So the cranial part and the caudal part, both of them are coming from the ilium. Okay? When it comes to their action, the cranial sartorius will extend the stifle joint, while the caudal sartorius, which is this one here, because of its attachment to the medial aspect of the tibial, it will flex the stifle joint. The second muscle that you can see is the gracilis muscle, this thin muscle here. Okay, it's a very thin muscle. Okay. It originates through a symphysial tendon from the pelvic symphysis. Okay. And this muscle will insert on the cranial aspect of, of the tibia, and also it will join the semitendinosus to form or contribute to the formation of the common calcanean tendon. So it has an action on the stifle joint and also it has an action on the tarsal uh, joint. Mainly, the gracilis act as an adductor of the limb and it flexes the stifle joint and it extends the tarsal joint. So it is an adductor of the limb, it flexes the stifle joint it extends the tarsal joint. Once we are in this area here, I want to draw your attention to this area here, where you can see these big blood vessels running. Okay, These two blood vessels, this is the femoral artery and this is the femoral vein. Okay, This is the femoral triangle. Okay, It is this space here. Um, in between the caudal head of the sartorius cranially and the pectineus muscle and the adductor and the gracilis medially. This space here where the femoral artery and the femoral vein is going through and this is where you take the pulse in the dog. Okay? You go and you feel at the most proximal part of the thigh, okay? That is where you feel the pulse from the femoral artery, which is coming through this femoral triangle. So this is for the femoral triangle. This is small muscle here, okay? This is the pectineus muscle, spindle in shape. It is a smooth muscle. Okay. Also, it acts as an adductor of the limb. Also, it is it is small. It doesn't do it doesn't do uh, it doesn't do much. Uh, uh, it is coming from the uh, iliopubic um, eminence, and it insert on the caudal aspect of uh, of the femur. It will act mainly as an adductor of the of the limb. Now, if we reflect the gracilis, okay, and if we move the bactinius a little bit cranially, this will expose this huge muscle. This is the adductor muscle. This one here, this is the adductor muscle. And the adductor muscle is coming from the pelvic symphysis, from the whole length of the pelvic symphysis. And it is inserted on the caudal aspect of of the femur, and it is a very powerful adductor of, of the limb, and the name of the muscle is the, is the adductor. Now, let us go back to the lateral aspect of, of the limb, okay? 
And here, first we want to look at the muscle that is located on the craniolateral aspect. Okay. The first one is this muscle here, 